Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Spare Change Challenge. After some technical difficulty, I think I have things... I found a workable solution to the issues. I'm using OBS Classic, which opened its own can of worms because chat doesn't work anymore for my... whatever you call it, um, overlay. I had to manually include the chat. So that's kind of half-assed. <laughs> Um, other than that, I tried to make the tables bigger and fit the screen a little bit bigger. The bigger that was my goal. Some people had complained about that. I am going to just show all four tables on screen. It's just much easier. I don't like stack and tiling. I like to be able to have reads, see the action, get in game flow. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do, actually. Not sure what happened here. Table tamer's not working. Bear with me while I fix that. There we go. Get these out of the way. And with a completely new layout. Um, table tamer has a feature where it removes the title bar, and so I thought that gave would give us a little bit of more room. We get led into um, on this board here with a five. That's pretty aggressive. Um, I think we call and raise a lot of turns. Big on his bet sizing. Probably got a pretty wide leading range here. I think we're just going to rep a top set type of hand. Um, we're going to go ahead and bet the river here. Um, some backdoor straights got there. Hopefully, we get him off like a two pair type hand. Um, unfortunately, he rivers a set. Um, so, yeah, our plan worked if he doesn't just hit two cards in the deck. <laughs> We're not going to lose sleep over that. Um, we certainly had a profitable spot there set up for ourselves. Um, hold here. We've got shot in backdoor flush. I'm thinking about that one a second. Um, we flop three of a kind fives. Um, we're going to go ahead and check back here. Um, manage the pot size a little bit. We have bad relative position. We got a player still behind, so we're going to go ahead and just that one. 8-9 um, <coughs> got there, but I still think we can get value from worse. I'm going to go ahead and bet fold. Um, we're going to check back with the trip queens here. Manage the pot size once again. Um, we don't really want to go broke with... Um, just a hand as weak as just strips. Um, this guy pots it in the turn. Usually that's indicative of probably having a boat. Um, we're not doing that well against the boat right now. Um, we have pocket kings, which kind of screws things up. We really, what are we looking for here? A deuce might not be good. Um, yeah, he could just have trip queens, so I'm going to have to go ahead and peel. Um, I think we probably fold to a jam on the river. Um, it's, just, it's just hard for less than a boat to, to bet the river. You could certainly do this with like just trip queens on the turn, but river is just probably always a boat. So if we don't spike a deuce or a queen, <laughs> or a king, I'm sorry. Queen or king, yeah. Pretty much done with his hand. Um, yeah, so we're just going to fold the river here. Check back happily. Um, he just had open ender on the turn. <clears throat> well, I think a jack here. Yeah, our strength of our hand is pretty much capped in this pot. It's hard for us to improve. I mean, spade, spade, potentially. It's just hard to get three players off of this. And we certainly are just going to see a raise a lot on that flop. So I think that's just one we're not going to fight for. And a four-way. Certainly could just check, have some check downs where we're good here. Um, it's just, it's very, very likely somebody has eight, nine right now. Um, but I think it's better to bet a quarter pot than to check. Because um, we certainly could just have the best hand right now. And we, there's definitely, everybody in the pot probably has equity in this pot. So if we can get everybody to, I usually might, if I am ahead, I would have like 50% equity here. 
So in order to, to just take 100% of the equity on the turn would be awesome. That's a really bad river card as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to be good in that spot. I'm probably going to have to peel this 3-bet with 4 live cards and double suits. Uh, flopping trips is good. Um, with the SPR being 2, we're probably just going to get it in here. He's not folding aces. Um, it's an interesting check back. Um, they certainly could be queens. Um, with an SPR of 2, we're just going to have to get it in, though. Um, I'll bet a half pot on the flop, just to make it look like I'm stabbing. And uh, just stacking. If he has trip queens or queen 6, um, just got me. You got me. Um, it looks like he's just kind of check calling with aces, though. That's usually what he's got here. Um, if he's got queens, it's yeah, whatever, dude. I'll call. You got him. Had him. Um, so we got a lot of equity there. Um, not much we can do <clears throat> when the run out just beats us. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Not the greatest run out for us. Um, we had 70% equity. Uh, it's hard to do much better than that. Um, but this is 10 and L. We had to move down, remember? You can see my balance is... It's, it was back up to... Actually, I ran pretty good today and late yesterday. Uh, so I was up like 30 and 3 buy-ins in 3 sessions or 2 sessions. So, I'm still debating whether to go ahead and just load more money in, like have 40 buy-ins for 25 and L and just play it, um, or whether I should just keep taking these little shots as we go. As you can see, I went back to my old button. <laughs> I used to have this alien button all the time when I played Bovada back in the day before they disallowed the ability to do that. Um, I think four-way... I mean, all we have going for us is just eight use of diamonds. Um, I don't think it's a big mistake in the big blind to call here. <laughs> Flop and gin. Um, this guy... We would defend here fairly wide. I, I guess it's okay. We I prefer to have this nut suit. Um, we're just going to lead our boat here. Try to get some people in some reverse implied odd spot. Uh, we're most likely just check calling this river and then probably getting aggressive on some certain runouts. Hmm. I mean, I guess we have to peel. We have back doors um, and butt shot, so. It's unlikely somebody has 3 6, but I think we still have to just play a little bit cautious here. If it was a deuce of diamonds, I would check raise this. Because we have the backup. So he bets 21. Certainly repping three six here. Hmm. I think we just have to check call and call clean runouts. Um, a non pouring river, uh, pairing river. Um, that's a pretty good river because it's going to slow him down. If he doesn't have six seven here, he probably does not fire again. We're beat by 6-7, 5-6. Uh, Flopping a set here, we're just going to bet. Uh, we get led in two with the nut flush draw on top pair. Um, we have probably enough equity to stack here, I would think. This guy donk bets. Um, I don't know. 
This guy's pretty aggressive. I'm just going to have to pay him off. Yeah, and he had 5-6. So we were actually ahead there on the turn. It's a little unfortunate. He was just bluffing, basically. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and raise and just get it in here. Um, actually, we don't have to do that. Not this deep. We'll just go ahead and peel one streak. Um, you got to make boats pay. I mean, I'm sorry, sets pay. Go ahead. This may look like a bad payoff up here, but I mean, I could just see him turning like uh, aces into a bluff there. So I don't mind. My, I mean, I kind of have to call there. If I'm going to call the turn, I kind of have to call a small river bet. And he, I was right, he was semi-bluffing the turn. Of course, he just had 5-6 to go with his flush draw and hit his Miracle River. Because they said that's all, the only way he could win was to hit that card or a flush. And I'm not paying him off when he has a flush, so. A little bit unfortunate for us. That's what happens when you play marginal spots. Shit happens, you know. <clears throat> I'm going to barrel this one off. Um, I'm just kind of leveraging this, my stack here. Um, if he had called there, I was just going to shove the river. Um, unfortunately, he just got there, and we have to fold. Not a big deal. Yeah, I'm still debating on what to do about moving up or not. Um, I mean, I have a decent sample now. You can see my... Just over the last 10,000 hands at um, 10 and L. I'm running a 21 big blind win rate. Um, I'm certainly probably one of the biggest winners at 10 and L lately. It's not saying much, right? <laughs> um, so I think 25 and L should definitely be in the cards for me. Wow, look at this. Um, <clears throat> is this the three better? Yeah, this guy's three betting a lot, a lot. This guy could have anything. Um, wow, almost want to just pile here against a Maniac. Try and get this guy off his hand and play against the Maniac. That's what I'm going to do. I have blockers against aces and kings. I'm going to have a flush draw. So hopefully this guy's just a Maniac and has a wrap, and this guy folds. We play heads up. Oh, this guy's just a Maniac, so Ace King. Ace King is kind of the nuts against Maniacs, I think, in PLO. From, what I, from running, like, equity simulations and such. I think this is a good spot for us. Wow, he put it in too. See, we're way ahead of here. Against, at least against this guy. Let's hit the club, please, and make this easy. Thank you. We have the nuts. We win a giant pot here. 300 big blind pot. Um, we'll check our equities here in a second, but that was a little bit of run good. Why can't we run that good at 25 an hour, right? Or dollar in the jar, Ed. <laughs> Why can't we run that good at uh, 25 PLO? I actually kind of like... I don't know about this one. Um, I kind of like 3-betting because I have less equity here. Um, I think a weaker ace might be better. This guy could be on tilt just because he lost that pot. He may stack off wide. I'm going to go ahead and give him the chance to do that pre-flop. And I think we have enough in the pot to probably just pile most flops. And we can just put him all in now. Hopefully he has pocket nines and not a big wrap or something. Deuce, please. I don't know if we won or not. <laughs> we did. <laughs> I can't really see his cards. Is it eight, nine, jack, seven. Yeah, I guess we won. I'm going to call here. So we've won a couple straight stacks. That's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, we're now up 17 for the session. Let's see what that does for us. We're $10 away. We're only one stack away now from another shot at 25 PLO if we decide to do that. Um, welcome to those just joining. I'm not going to stab in a four-way, honestly. It's just... I think it's just burning money without any kind of backdoors. And actually, we did pick up a backdoor gut shot here, but I think it's unlikely uh, for us to even have another chance to bet here. This guy likes to call and fold a lot. This guy's not defending that many buttons, only 
I, as you can see, I revamped my HUD, I revamped my tables, I've got my labels bigger now. Um, cool looking button. Huh. Trying to make things more appealing for both my eye and people watching, maybe. Um, so, I feel like I've come a long way in the last couple of weeks in PLO. I know that poker will do that to you. Sometimes you'll feel like you're on top of the world. Um, um, let me turn my sound off. Voluminous here. original. I think the stream just started for myself. <laughs> on one second, let me get caught up here. Raise that one in position against him. Um, guy falls to three bet forty one percent. We can't really call a four bet, so we're going to go ahead and just bet bigger to try and maximize our pre-flop fold equity. <clears throat> Flopping um, of hair and a flush draw. I think this is a good spot to... I mean, he folds the C-bet so much. Um, I don't want to realize equity here and check back. Um, a king is not the greatest turn. I was going to raise a lot of turns. I don't I think there's too many kings in his range for me to raise that one. I'm just going to be cautious and call there. I was going to raise almost every turn. Um that's not the one that I'm going to raise though. Um when the board pairs like that. I mean it's not it probably wouldn't be terrible. It's just I I could be called and then drawing dead and then get good runouts for myself and have some reversed implied odds. I'm going to get away. I'm flopping the gut shot, straight flush, and a pair. Go ahead and start betting here. Um, I'm going to three bet him again. A little bit smaller this time. We can call a four bet with his hand. Turning the flush. I'm going to go for a check here. We have the second nut flush. Um, we're going to kind of try to lose the minimum here. Bad board for us should be a good board for him most of the time, so we're going to start betting. Call this bet. And then check call the river. He has a better flush, it's just cooler, but we're not going to like pump up the pot against him. <coughs> um, we're going to rep that we have nothing here and just do that. And uh, he was just bluffing, so that's good. Um, now we're just going to bet fold this river. 20. Big blinds. And we want a decent sized pot there. That's why you like to 3-bet these hands. He probably just made a straight or something. Or had somehow had trips over maybe aces, kings. Uh, probably not aces, but... Certainly could just get stubborn. I just 3-bet him twice in a row. Um, we have a lot of straight outs here, but we do have kind of the dummy end of it, so I'm just going to call here. Um, pick up a flush draw. That actually might be a decent card to just raise the turn. Not really raising to try and get it in, but raising just to set up a bluff in case we um, airball the river. Um, we certainly can call his re-raise here. Um, that's a good river for me. Should be. Um, I don't know if he's in a mood to fold. Um, he just lost some big hands against me, actually. I don't know if this is the greatest spot, but I do kind of have like the worst hand I can have here. Um, so I'm going to try and get him off some like just a Jack X type hand um, by just repping, kind of just trying to get value with my boat here, trying to get him to make a bad call. Um, it's really, really good if he folds ever any. Well, he's ahead with everything. So he called with Jack-8. Curious to see whether he would have called if I had um, bombed the river a little bit more. I, set my, I gave myself a good price for my bluff, and I had like probably 50% equity on the turn. So I don't have to win that many rivers when I miss to make that a profitable spot. So uh, Monster, monster, monster hand. Ace-Ace, queen-queen, double suited here. Um, super, super monster hand. Uh, we would be more than happy to get it in 200 big blinds deep here. 
Um, I'm only getting a quarter of my stack, though. This hand just plays way too well for me not to 4-bet. Um, I just have to 4-bet this hand. If I get this guy to fold and this guy to call, that would be pretty good. But I don't really care. Um, whatever. Hopefully this guy has weak aces and we just get it in here. 200 big blinds. Um, deep. Shove? I think it's a legal raise if he shoves. Okay, so now we can get all the money in. Uh, which we happily will do. Wow! Giant pot, guys. Oh, wow. Well. It's not a good flop. Did we get there? I don't think we did. We lost a 400 big blind pot. <sighs> we'll check our equities there. That would have been freaking awesome if we could have won that one. A 300 and a 400 big blind pot in the same session. Damn. Such a monster hand, too. And we had, we were blocking so many of his straight outs and such. That's just kind of crazy that that much money got in a pot. And, <laughs> and we have, like, the monster there. Um, we actually had 86% equity on the flop, guys. Oh, I didn't realize that. Because we had, we blocked his diamonds. Um, the turn was a six. Wow. Holy cow. <laughs> that river. That river. Wow. Pull it in here. Let's see. Um, we got to keep playing though. We're gonna go ahead and heal versus this wide opener here. Bet this one. Why this guy was willing to put in 200 big blinds? I have no clue. That was just insane. I guess maybe he figured he was priced in. I don't think he was. Pre-flop, he only had 20% equity. We had 60% equity in a 400 big blind pot, guys. Um, we're going to bet this dynamic board here. Um, we're going to go ahead and start betting here. And go ahead and bet this river. Um, I think he folded. Oh, we wanted to fold all this flush draws with like pocket nines or something with a flush draw. It's beating us. We're not trying to get him off a 10 or a 5, obviously. We could fold like queens here, it would be awesome. Um, I don't know what happened there. So, I'll pull this hand in again. If I can get it to work, <laughs> it's not working. Okay. Um, all right. So pre-flop, we had the 58% equity. Um, money goes in on the flop. Everything's good. We flopped the flush draw and a set of queens. Wow. Wow! I feel good. Turn, we have 83% equity. Um, wow. And then River does this in. He hits a straight with 8-9. Wow. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Um, we want to check this. Um, it should be a bad board for us, so we should be checking this board a lot. Uh, we're going to check raise the turn. Um, I don't think he has a lot of flushes. We have a lot of boat outs. Here, we're just kings and fives. Um, we're going to go ahead and bet for value on this river. Um, I think we can get called by worse. Might be a little bit optimistic, but I think we can. If he doesn't have any flushes and he has like ace five, he might fold this. Not likely. He's probably betting the turn, but I think it's better to kind of bet and disguise what we have anyway. Um, get him to fold all of his busted other stuff. Um, we're actually going to check back our boat here. We don't really want to. I mean, if we get it in versus aces, we, we're basically flipping um, like ace x because he'll have mostly have his live side cards. Um, we're going to go into it for value on the turn, though, against just a naked ace. We have a dummy straight draw here. Wow, how awesome would it have been to win that? We're actually still up this session, believe it or not. I guess you can see that. That's pretty damn, pretty damn awesome. Um, we win that pot, and we're back taking our shot. I mean, we were one card away. All we had to do was avoid basically a gut shot. Um, 
And we were playing 25 and L right now. 25, there's another dollar in the jar for Ed. 25 PLO. Um, yeah, that, that happens. Still kind of exciting in PLO. <laughs> if, if things happen so fast and there's four cards and three players, there's like 12 cards to watch and um, we, don't have, we do have a blocker against Queen-10. So I'm going to go ahead and bet Barrel off here. Oh, we're just going to flat with aces here on the button. Hope for a three bet behind us. Um, I think that's a really good card to bet, actually. I don't think he can call with anything except a, a boat. Um, he can't call with ace-jack, he can't call with ace-queen. Yeah, he had the boat. <laughs> uh, sucks when you're repping what they have. Actually, gonna min raise this. Um, min raise fold. I'd like for him to have a six, although he's got a really wide opening range. We do have the gut shot. Hopefully, he just has kings here and has efficient calls. Not queens. That would be bad. Yeah, a six. Wow. Okay. I guess a six is in his range. <clears throat> when he opens that wide. Good thing I didn't three bet, right? We would have had to stack on that board. Uh, we're going to bet for value on when this runs out to a straight here. this um I guess this guy being so wide we're gonna three bet this for value <laughs> only four bets 4.8 percent um that probably hits his calling range pretty well but we still have to see bet holds us to see bet 67 percent in three bet pots Too bad we couldn't have our wrap part of our range. And now we're just done with the hand once he calls there. We don't get a club on the turn. We don't get a queen on the turn. Um, we do hit an ace. Maybe sometimes we check down and we're good here. Not likely. <laughs> 40 big blind pot on that card. Um, We're going to bet certain runouts here. We're going to raise certain runouts. Uh, we got showdown value. We're just going to check. Um, possibly folds that if I bet. I don't know about this guy, though. Don't know. That was. I don't know. There were a lot of cards I was going to bet there. Good thing the heart didn't come because I probably would have repped that for sure. So this has been kind of a roller coaster session so far. To say the least. Let's go ahead and open it. 
here. Get back to paying attention to what we're doing here. Stop worrying about past hands. Uh, nothing we can do about. Welcome to those just joining the stream. <clears throat> Good board for our range. We definitely can continue to erase. We're going to go ahead and call here. Popping top pair. We're going to go ahead and bet. Getting three bit pretty deep here versus this guy. It's three bet range. Pretty wide versus me. I'm gonna go ahead and four bet. And he just folds. Hey Kumadena, good to see you. Um, yeah, Ignition has been having a lot of lag issues. A lot of lag issues. Um, the site's almost basically unplayable sometimes. Especially at night, but at pretty much all hours you can just expect to um, crash for no reason. Um, I'm not going to call with this hand. Man, my phone is just blowing up with text messages. Mess. Yeah, somebody's just spamming with some kind of weird love messages or something. I think it might be. I don't know what that is. That's embarrassing. I texted this guy because um, I have to look at his vehicle, and uh, he suddenly texted me all these love messages to somebody else. That's weird. That is really weird. Don't know what to do about that. I just let it go. <laughs> Maybe you won't realize. Did I limp here? I limp behind. I don't know. We have live cards. Just play them all because you might hit. Right? Not what Semi Farha says. Not gonna call that one out of position. Do have a gut shot and the flush draw, so I think we have to peel one street. I'm gonna lead here with the kings. <clears throat> Check calling and probably betting really big on the river here. It's not a very good turn, but we're gonna keep betting. I said sorry, wrong number, because he just keeps texting and texting. Um, yeah, this is a bad flop for my hand. My range, really good for his. We just check fold this without too much thought. <laughs> Don't want to pile in a lot of money when you might be drawing dead, right? So. That's what we's gonna do. Uh, I actually Kuman and I do plan on still playing. Um, I left three hundred dollars on um, ignition. So I'm gonna do like an aggressive bankroll thing there as well. Maybe we'll do like throwback Thursday or I don't know. But we will play some hold'em on there um, at some point. I just haven't done it yet. 
but we'll definitely plan on doing that at some point. Now my phone's ringing, different person. Call them back later. I'm just flatting here. Probably starting with a check call here. Um, all right, probably not folding his ace x range now because of the three. Just gonna try to get the showdown here. We do have blockers if a jack or a 10 comes, we can rep the Broadway. Um, we're definitely going to go ahead and do that. It's hard for him to have king 10. He'll probably fold all of his ace x hands. Queen, jack, maybe even. Although he's probably betting those, so I discount those. So I think it's a good spot. <laughs> yeah. I won't read you his texts, but they're kind of funny. Kind of funny. Um, he hasn't texted me since. Sorry, wrong number. He was sending it in a group conversation too, so I guess he accidentally had me added to the conversation. I'm not even gonna. I actually, I didn't even read really his text. I just kind of saw the gist. I think it would be bad for me to read his personal thoughts to his girlfriend or whatever. So I just saw a couple of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it without further ado. And there we go. That wouldn't be right for me to read somebody. He's got to be really embarrassed right now. So, poor guy. Mainly all I saw is, don't leave me, I love you, baby. Sad, right? Poor guy. But there was a bunch more texts. I mean, there must have been 10 or 12 more that I did not. Um... We have blockers to 3-4, so I think we just barrel off now. Here. <clears throat> Blocker, or rather. Um, we're going to bet here. This is kind of cool because if we hit the flush, we can win. If we don't hit the flush, we can just take it down too. Um, these are kind of, these are the size pots I like to go after. Um... There's certainly a lot of clean tens in his range, but um, I think he falls the turn a lot. Um, if he does happen to have like King Jack, Jack Nine, we do have a lot of outs against that. Um, for his ticket to show down now, and we win. That's the good thing about having the backup plan. That's why side cards matter so much. Um, you like to bet with some equity <laughs> if you're going to run some bluffs. Um, it just usually works out better that way. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, So when I think about opening a cutoff hand here, something marginal like this, I look at the button and see what his call um, f button is. And he, this guy's calling 50% on the button, so I'm just going to fold. Um, if I see like 20% or less, I, I open basically my button range in the cutoff. Um, yeah, just steal the button. Uh, we're going to pot it here. Pretty easy fold, uh, but we don't want to get bluff raised by like ace and side cards, queens, pocket queens that, with blockers. A lot harder for him to do that if we pot it. <clears throat> Just make it play easier. I don't know whether that's actually good or not. <laughs> I'm a newbie at PLO. I'm just kind of trying to use the basic fundamentals that I've learned different places and then apply my own strategy and thought processes to it. So. 
be warned this may not be correct any of the stuff that we're doing <laughs> probably isn't most of the time but doing pretty well at 10 and now dollar in the jar ed <laughs> i can't stop doing that what do i just how do i get away from that can i just call it like 10 playing 10 dollar buy in or 5 cent 10 cent there we go i'll just call it 5 cent 10 cent It's a clear call here in the big blind. I think we're going to lead this just because it's hard to get called if somebody doesn't have a flush. <laughs> um, there's no flushes or like straights or sets or anything. Probably people just fold here. Like ace king will fold here, ace queen. We have an ace blocker to that, so it's hard for somebody to have ace inside cards anyway. So Jack-10 might fold, you know, hands with equity. Obviously, hands that are way ahead of us would fold. Um, so that's why I like that play. I think we try to check to the turn here and see, like, a clean turn card before we decide whether we're going to put money in this pot. More than we already have. And <clears throat> we have blockers to 4-5, so that's a really good turn for us. So we're actually probably just going to barrel this. Actually, we may not need to on the river. There's a lot of cards we can check back, too. A lot of cards we can check back. And there's flush draws on the turn, too, which is really awesome, right? Um, I don't think we bluffed this multi-way. There's a small chance we're good. It's not, it's not likely. Somebody's got two pair here. Um, what's this guy got? A6. That's kind of a shoddy turn call by him, but whatever. He's been doing that a lot. That's why this stake is so profitable. Open this in the hijack. Would not open this under the gun. We're not going to bet in the four people here. This guy's fairly tight in the small blind, but we have definitely a hand we can call with. Hitting top two pair here. Top three pair. gonna be hard to get it in aces just isn't gonna like stack here so um, we're gonna go ahead and see a turn um, oh, he pots the turn like ace queen ace ace queen x might do this or just ace queen x I don't think he's doing this with like king 10 or even a set so basically we got 13% chance of a full house, and we just can't call river bets, so we're just going to give that one up. Fold here, call there. Check back this one and decide on turns. Um, this guy's too passive for me to call here, even though I do have a good chance at a straight. <clears throat> I mean, if I hit my straight, do I call again? I mean, what the hell, right? Um, we have a queens and a gut shot here. I'm gonna bet. Trying to feed off of the dead money is basically what we do. All right. Um, we go ahead and bet top two. <clears throat> What's he repping here? Five six. We have a blocker to five six. Ace five. Locker to that. I mean, we just got to get straightforward people. Most people are pretty straightforward at these stakes, so I mean, I think it's pretty, just an easy fold. I mean, that should be pretty trivial. It's not where our money's going to be made, right? I don't think. Could be wrong. I guess certain players, that might be a good spot to repop it with the five.
I think we just call with the kings and double suitedness. Not too thrilled about that flop. Over pair, backdoor straights, and um, um, yeah. Oh, this guy just pots it. Pots it like he gots it. I think this just might be a trivial fold here. Might be a trivial fold. We just don't have anything to go with our um, non-net flush draw here. And we only have one bet vested. So why bother? This guy's pretty passive too, so makes it an easier fold. Flopping a top pair on a board that we're um, probably never going to get a C bet through. I'm going to check back, try to improve a little bit. 8 9 is certainly a lot of hands that people will be playing right here. Um, this guy does this a lot. I'm going to min raise the turn. I think some worse two pairs. I mean, he's been shown the call with like bad two pairs here um, and non nut hands. Um, it's just I'm trying to get value from those and maybe get him to fold some hands with equity and uh, then just play the run out, right? <clears throat> wow. Well, he had exactly what I thought he did, except he had the flush draw with it. Um, we have the wrap here. Um, probably just with the backdoor flush draw. Two backdoor flush draws, we just got a stack here. Oh, that's a couple of extra added outs. Hold this. Um, we don't improve on the turn. There's lots of queen kings in people's ranges. This guy folds the c-bet quite frequently too. I think he's got like queen king x a lot. Um, I think we just try to realize some equity here and try to hit a straight on the river, which we do. We have, I think, the nuts, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we just go for value. I think he pays us off with king, queen, sets, two pairs. Unfortunately, he doesn't pay us off. But at least we win, right? Winning is, is good. Take all the wins we can get. Wow. <clears throat> Flopping two pair and a flush draw. This hand isn't as strong as it looks. <laughs> if this was a three bet pot, we would be like dancing in the street, but. This is not, this is a very high SPR situation. Uh, we have to navigate this cautiously. This guy does not bet very often uh, when checked to, so we probably can just check this flop a lot. We certainly don't want to get check raised. Uh, we're not in very good shape when that happens. Although I think people will bet a lot on this board. Um, we're a bit small, actually. Certainly, would if, unless it's the king of hearts, we're not going to be that happy about a flush. Because it's just reverse implied odds. I mean, people are going to have king high flush draws here quite a bit. We don't really turn anything that helps our hand. In fact, it's a really bad card for us. Probably just check folding this. Um, I don't even know if we call this bet. I'm going to 3-bet versus this guy. I meant to 3-bet more than that. Yeah. Too, it's too likely somebody has the king hand. This guy can still raise. So it's too likely somebody has a straight here. Um, see what I mean? Um, just wasn't a good turn card. Wow, this guy just... Oh, what is this? 
How is there 62 in the pot preflop here? What happened? What was the action here? I don't understand how this pot's so big. Um, yeah, it calls raises raging calls slave mirror of three bets. I guess I called a three bet. I don't remember doing that, but now I flopped. Bottom two pair, I have to put it in. I mean, really weird. How did we get in this spot? So weird. Did we just lose that? How did we lose that? Oh. I think we were ahead there. <laughs> Strange as it might sound. I, I don't know how we got in that spot. I don't think we would have normally called a three bet there. Was I just autopiloting that? Oh, we had 81% equity again. And we have a blocker against King Jack, so we're not too worried about that. Uh, but we certainly can't really raise the river. Um, now it's just a check call spot here. <clears throat> we hit the second nut flush. Um, trying to get value from something. Um, I think we got to go for some thin value here with the king blocker. Oh. It's so weird that we lost that hand. Flopping bottom two, the low SPR. So weird. <laughs> we lose that hand. We gotta pay more attention. Definitely gotta pay more attention. When you don't even know what the action is in a hand, something's wrong, right? <laughs> Good news is, I mean, it didn't really hurt us. I mean, we lost, but it didn't really hurt us. I mean, we still had the right price and everything. Um, we had the best hand, so. I guess he rivered us straight. I mean, there were so many turn cards where he was just basically almost drawing dead, too. Check this one back. Um, still don't have anything here. Didn't bet the turn. Hold that. I don't think anything is folding here. But we just gotta hope we're good. Flopping a five, this guy's pretty straightforward. On a dry board like this, I think we could just bet and take it down a lot. ahead and ISO this one. <laughs> Sand plays pretty good multi-way or heads up, but I prefer to be heads up. Got three bet three bet me a hundred percent. Hundred percent. Three straight times. I'm obviously not folding. Flopping the nut flush is always nice. Um, so we flop decently here. We have blockers to like queen king, so we are straights probably live. Um, we have a pair, um, but I think this is one of those we can realize equity by checking back. Um, we're gonna indu try and induce by betting quarter pot here. Third pot, whatever quarter pot. Um, we're gonna go ahead and assume this guy. Nobody has ace queen here most of the time, and try to get value from something. Oh, that's pretty exploitable if this guy's gonna three bet. On a, and then not see bet a monotone board and then fold to a quarter pot bet. <laughs> That's just pretty bad. Even I know that. It's just a shame that I actually had it. Wow. This guy's certainly repping ace queen here. 
Could he really have the ace? I guess there's two queens left in the deck. It's ace queen is possible. Um, you really don't have anything else. I mean, we just have a straight. It's either good or it's not good. Um, we're pretty deep versus this guy, so I'm just gonna give it up. Um, he could be on tilt. Um, it's true, and I mean, I guess I should be checking back that turn a lot if I think this guy is gonna aggressively raise spots like that. Um, just looking at his raise C bet, he doesn't raise that often. Um, he he may just be annoyed at me though and be doing that wide. Um, and it sucks because he small chance he had the same hand. I'm gonna check this one back. Kind of the nut nothing, right? No pairs. Um, there's a lot of runouts that I can bluff the river, so I'm gonna go ahead and call this. A lot of crap missed. I kinda have to bluff here. I mean, even though this guy hasn't been folding very often, like he'll call with like 9x here. Um, 9x. But I don't know how good of a bluff this is. Of course, he did fold a quarter pot bet on the flop on a monotone and a big three bet pot, so without c betting or anything. So kind of just unsure about this guy. But we have we have ace high. We have to try and get him off like 5 5 ace x. Something that's beating me. Hold that. Good thing about getting in all these spots at 10 PLO is we're getting in these spots at 10 PLO and not at a higher stake. So it's, it's nice to experiment and not have too big of a monetary ris risk. So we're crushing it this session, unfortunately. We're just getting boned by runouts. We're getting it in with 80% equity twice and losing. Two very big pots, too. <clears throat> we could safely call this. Because we can call any size, we can pretty much get it in preflop here, honestly, for stacks, <laughs> three-way. Um, so I don't mind just insta-calling this guy. Um, I mean, it looks like a decent flop, but it's not really. We have the open ender, but it, not really much else. Um, we do pick up the brush draw. We'll go ahead and bet small here. Try to thin the field, get some people off their equity, and make decisions on rivers. Guy three bets. Big blind versus button, 22%. Wow. I have a blocker against aces. I would much rather have like 10, 9, 7, 5 double suited um, to uh, four bet here. I thought about four betting there. That's what I'm saying. I just, I mean, I know I have the ace blocker, but I think I would rather just know I have 40% equity, right? Um, we're going to check this back. Maybe fight for it on turns. We don't really have anything. Um, we don't really have a chance to improve. And this this, this definitely board smashes, a, smashes his range. So um, I don't think we're going to play heads up here. We're just going to call with trip aces and, and play a lot of flops that are good for aces. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Checking back here just to pot control. And then we're either call calling or bet betting. It's a call call spot here, I think. <clears throat> I mean, there's really nothing calling our river raise, so he has a deuce or pocket kings were beat and whatever. He's, it's not like he's going to snap call our raise with queens here. It's hard for him to have that anyway. Is there anything we can get value from? Maybe pocket nines, tens. I think a small bet can get value from something. I think it's better to bet. Also, he doesn't get the benefit of seeing our hand. And that's always good. Uh, did this guy come back? No. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just sit out there. Hey, we're up two buy-ins in EV this session. I don't really want the EV dollars, though. I want the real dollars. I 
Um, we have, we could turn it said, we could turn flush draws, um, we could turn straight draws here. <clears throat> I don't mind leading this board. We're obviously not continuing to erase though. Lots of aces. Table's filling back up. I think it's fishy enough for us to play at. Go ahead and come back. Upping nut flush draw. It's calling against this player. Pretty good flop for us. It certainly can rep that pretty well. Um, not a good flop up here. Gonna bet our straight. Uh, this guy likes to raise a lot. I mean, actually, a better line versus this guy might be check call. Check call. He has been bluff raising, I think. I'm not 100% on that because we haven't really seen a showdown. Um, I think he's capable of it. Light, I mean. Several straights out there. Whether they have those low cards, I don't know. I think we just protect our hand with a quarter pot here. It's always good to win on boards like that when you kind of have, like, like it's the worst board for you. Up in the nuts again. We're in a pretty good situation-wise this session. We're just not realizing the fruits of those, that luck. So we're either up against the set here, or he has a flush. Um, we just keep betting. I got a bit smaller. We don't want to give him a set to draw to. I mean, a a good price to draw to his boat. So, kind of hamstrings us a little bit. And I think he calls with flushes. So. And he probably makes bad calls with sets a lot too, so got to go for that. Flopping the nut flush against this guy again. We have a really aggressive image, so. And this board connects with him a lot, even if he doesn't have a flush. It's going to be unfortunate if he folds. <laughs> this guy only folds the C bet 30%. He's folded us twice when we had the nuts. Goes to show while, uh, why that... that Type of board is so good to see bed. Even the even the calling stations will fold. <laughs> we don't want the calling stations to fold. Um, we have nothing, so we're just going to bet this board. We have backdoor flush just in case. Um, yeah, that's just a bad turn card. Um, there's way too many straights out there. Um, we're not continuing there. Anything calling that flop is probably loving that turn. <clears throat> just kind of a theoretical thing. Put less money in when you are behind, put more money in when you are either ahead or can make worse equity fold. That's pretty much my theory on this. <laughs> That's just kind of the way I'm trying to approach this. And for those watching that don't know, um, I have the, the Conversion to big blinds and table tamer. So this is big blinds, not dollars. And um, it's we're playing uh, ten PLO for so five cent, ten cent. 
But I really like this feature. I plan on using it as I move up. It just kind of takes the money aspect of the game out of it. It's just you're basically just playing big blinds. And that's it. So we get a massive flop here for us. We have a gut shot, nut flush draw, pair. Um, we're more than comfortable. Um, I was going to say we're more than comfortable stacking off here. If we do stack off, it'll probably be against the flush. I think actually checking back here and deciding on turns um, might be better. We don't just want to pile. Um, we're going to bet this turn. I actually just don't think piling in 200 big blinds is necessary there. You can kind of just get worse flushes to get to later streets. Um, if this was ace, eight, seven, six, I'd probably call here. Yeah, I'm just going to get away from that. We have backdoor hearts. Um, I kind of want to realize equity here. Um, certainly could be queen 10 leading here a lot. The only reason I'm calling here is because I have a backdoor flush draw and this guy's pretty straightforward. Um, and I think we just, he's just going to have queen 10 here a lot. So we want to call. Um, we're getting three to one, but we don't have the nut flush draw. If this was a four of hearts, we would be continuing here. But it's not, so we'll just give it to the knit. Only way we... We're never losing a big pot against the knit normally. That's kind of the key to this game is don't stack off versus knits um, without, like, note over nut or something, just a big hand. Um, that's kind of a big no-no. When a knit's betting... Being aggressive, just got it. So, got to get out of his way most of the time. Because he's gonna, just going to give up so much dead money to you that you don't really have to do that stuff. <clears throat> Let's see if we need to add some labels to anybody. This guy kind of looks station-y, maybe. Yeah, we'll give him the yellow tag. As you see, I, I enlarged my tags. I didn't know you could do that, but I went in and tried, and it worked. This guy's a knit, uh, knit reg, so we're gonna give him a passive reg blue tag. Um, let's see, donkey me looks like a passive player. He folds a lot in the small, but not the big. Folds in see that. I'm just gonna give him passive reg for now. Could change that later. This guy's got a wide range. We're going to peel here. Oh, that's a pretty good flop for us. Um, so we are now just going to start betting. Bet, bet. Everything misses, so we're just going to bet again. Yes, King Jackie calls. If he has any, all of his busted draws full, heart draws, things beating us. Easy peasy, right? And most of his range is busted crap, so we'll get called 30% there. We'll win 70%, and that's more than enough to be profitable with that bet sizing. I mean, this game is kind of all about following through on rivers, too. Just kind of got to follow through. Even in spots where it doesn't look like you could ever... You're still almost going to just have to give yourself a right price. Like, 40% pot will just win if they've missed everything, right? Um, this guy's got... Let's see. It's a hijack open. Yeah, we're just going to flat this. Play a flop. Not flopping much. We have a gut shot, backdoor, two backdoor flush draws. Maybe worth seeing one more card, but we'll see what the bet sizing is and everything. Um, this should be a bad flop for his range. Um, well, depending on what his range is. It, I mean, actually, pff, this board's pretty good for any range. Um, so if eight comes, that's like reverse and flat odds, right? We're getting three and a half to one. We have to peel this. Um, there's also some runouts, like where everybody, like it just is a bad runout. Like like a a nine comes, something like that, a six, and I can just bomb the river. Um, I have a king. I block queen king. 
I think we kind of just have to go for it here. Maybe that's not quite big enough. Yeah, they snap fold, so. Yeah. It just looks like I have Queen King. This guy's freaking. Hey, man. I'm going to bet a little, three bet a little smaller because I actually can call, <laughs> I think, a four bet here. Proximity issues. Um, let's see. Yeah, he only four bets, 4%. Maybe I can't call a four bet. Depending on his sizing, if he pots it, we'll have to see. Um, bad board for me. If I had aces here, I would be checking a lot. It's a good turn card for me, though. If I have aces, I'm going to bet small to rep aces. Um, I guess flushes continue. 6x. Just a really good card for my range. Um, I'm just going to follow through. Um, Rep aces and hope I'm just like I'm gonna pot like I'm hoping he has a flush, right? It should just be so obvious to fold any flush here except for maybe the king high flush. I don't know what he's waiting for. I mean, I guess he's a fish, so he might call with a flush here. Might call with a six. Wow, taking this long, probably getting called. Be sick if he calls with just ace jack here, like levels himself into calling. Um, nut flush draw. Go ahead and start betting here. I don't care whether I get called here. I mean, it's uh, him taking this long makes it a plus EV bluff, <laughs> right? Um, just the fact that he's taking this long. Um, we just have the flush draw. I don't want to get blown off my equity. I'm gonna check back here. Yeah, we get called here. What did he have? Just a weak, weak flush. He should be folding that 100%. Um, and we have two pairs, so we're just going to take it to showdown. Um, that's, this is what fish do. They just make bad river calls, right? That's just what they do. Um, next time I'll have aces, and he'll just pay me off. Actually, it would have been a, probably a bigger pot if I had aces. So he's like winning the minimum when I take that line, and he's losing the maximum because I'm probably betting bigger when I have aces slightly against him. Um, so the pot size bet is probably going to be like 40 big blinds. <clears throat> and he, if he's going to call that, he's probably calling that as well. So um, we have a blocker against King Jack. And bet here. I mean, King Jack just raises, right? Um, it's actually not a bad card either. Yeah, it's like Ace Jack. He just folds now. Or if he has queen 10, he just raises, ace queen. Like I said, straightforward guys, easy to play against. Yeah, even that big bluff that I made a minute ago was only for like 40% of my total stack. <laughs> it was like a still a small pot, but I like put him to the ultimate test. Paired board. Repping aces, every all the boats get there. He's not even beating a a, a flush, right? Um, so he just makes a big fishy call. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna continue there. It's not the flop we're looking for. This guy looks like he might be aggressive because he opens so wide, but if you look at his aggression factor and his bet versus miss C bet, he's really not that aggressive. I think he mostly has it when he's betting a lot of the time. I mean, I'm sure there's some bluffs in his range. Like, he's not, like, super... Well, I guess 28. 28 aggression factor is pretty much betting mostly when you have it. Um, have something... We're going to run here for about 10 more minutes. And i got to fly this chicken coop.
Taking it down pre. That's pretty rare. Does not happen often at this stake. Actually, it doesn't happen often at any stake, <laughs> right? <clears throat> This is a kind of a trouble hand, so I'm just going to get away from it. It's pretty, and you think it does pretty well multi-way, but meh. Too many reverse implied odds if you get like a wrap. Because people have those mid-wraps, right? Hand looks good, but it's just barely good enough for me to raise here. Um, I like having the two um, semi nut suits. One of them semi nut, one of them is nut. <laughs> um, yeah, we just don't flop anything here. And it's multi way. Uh, unless we turn like a diamond, it's just, we're just done with this hand. We get like a 10 of diamonds, might continue. I'm not even going to call that bet. This guy only bets versus Miss Seabet 35%. So we're going to see a free turn here quite frequently. But we're just going to get away from that one. Cheap. Cheaply. Cheap. Kind of not much happening now. It was fireworks early on, wasn't it? Take a look at that graph. How good could this session have been if we won that forty-dollar pot? Um, and the two hundred, the the twenty-dollar pot as well. This, I mean, we were eighty percent favored on one. Uh, actually, on both, be like, yeah, we could be way up. Be way up. This is a little bit iffy to limp here, but because it's two limpers and it's a pretty passive table, I think I can get away with it. <clears throat> We're just exactly looking for queen top set here. That's basically why we called her. Um, almost looks like a gut shot straight flush, doesn't it? But it's not. <laughs> Calling on the button with this hand. I mean, they're going to check to me. I guess I'm going to bet. Flopping um, the non-nut straight. Not looking to pile the money in here for sure. Um, I'm going to start with a call. That's a really bad turn card, by the way. Lots of other straights got there. And he can pretty much just bluff this at will if he really wants to. There's, he, he should know that nothing can really call here. Um, everything gets there. But he's not really the type of player to stab Rivers that much, I don't think. I think we bet fold this turn. Go ahead and check back this one. He has sets, he'll continue. He'll raise, he'll just call with a lot of flushes anyway. Probably not betting rivers. We're just checking it down here. It's way too dynamic of a board. There's like lots of everything. <laughs> Two pairs. I mean, we do have the blocker against queen king, right? But won't we bet the turn with that? So, kind of hard to rep that. I think it's worth betting like quarter pot here. 
Just to get somebody to, to fold Ace Jack or something. Uh, this is a little bit iffy. I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> this is a little bit ambitious, I think, to try and bet this river. A um, little bit, and it worked. <laughs> um, that's a good turn to keep betting. Because um, flush draws will continue calling. All the straight calls, draws got there, so unless he has a straight, he probably folds this river. He hits straight, he just raises me. Easy peasy. Ah, what's he calling me with? I guess he has a straight. Yeah, he had the nut straight on the turn. I was no longer the nut straight on the river, but he has the call anyway. He also had the flush draw, so I'm not sure why he's not raising at any point, because he's a f passive guy, I guess. Passive fish. <clears throat> Lots of back doors here. They're definitely betting this. That is a really, really freaking awesome turn card. Um, we can continue to a raise, so I'm actually going to bet again. I don't know, this is actually, if I was like 80 big blinds behind, I could just pile this in on the turn if he raises me here. I don't think we'll do it this deep, though. I'll just realize equity if he raises here. <clears throat> Easy fold here. You guys are kind of getting the theme here, right? Just kind of always be the aggressor. I mean, in that way, I guess it's just basically automatic poker, isn't it? Um, I think we will call with the 976 and the suited ace here. <clears throat> Not caring for that flop. There's too many four card combinations to, to, continue, to do any kind of crazy stuff on that board. Won't see any shenanigans from me there. So let's just play one more revolution here. And then we'll sit out next big blind. Call it a session. It's been a good session. Lots of interesting spots. Um up way up in EV. Buy-in and a half. Only down about half a buy-in. An actual. But we did lose a 400 big blind pot. <clears throat> this guy is a really strong 3-bet right here. 
This guy's got a wide range. So I think we actually will call with the 874 deuce just because this guy's got such. It's just like this is aces, right? So that's what we're trying to do is stack aces here. Um, we flop a little bit, but not enough. I mean, dummy end of a straight. We're done with that hand. Although, yeah. <laughs> Ah, that's a bad turn card. <laughs> I was going to say we could do some shenanigans on that board, though. Um, he obviously just has aces here, and he's protecting it. Um, and I don't have the right price to draw to a flush. Although, do I have an open ender? I don't know. It's a weak open ender. Yeah, this guy could check raise. Well, he's probably not going to on that board, but... I don't know. Two to one... We, could, we have like a maybe a 40% chance of winning this hand. Same thing. This is aces probably, so we just call here with our king jack. I'm just going to let it go, I guess. <laughs> so we got a good flop versus aces. Um, we have the backdoor flush draw, queen jack. Um, we're just going to get it in here. Wow, I didn't expect this. If he has like a set of queens or jacks, it's cooler. Probably has a big wrap, that's more likely. And he's actually ahead probably, if he, that's what he has. Um, so either we are crushed here or flipping, which kind of sucks. Oh well, it's, one, it's only one buy-in, it's not a big deal. Yeah, he has like a wrap. Deuce! Deuce! That's not a deuce! <laughs> but we'll take it. I thought that gave him a straight. Doesn't he have 9-10? Oh, he had 10-10. Okay. I misinterpreted his. I, I couldn't see. This HUD's in a freaking way. Okay, I thought it was 9-10, queen-3, so I was actually doing a lot better than I thought. Oh, that's weird. Why would he stack there? Not sure why he stacked there. We had 76% equity. I thought he had, like, a giant wrap. I'm going to pot this. Protect my hand. And it's very easy to fold if somebody has 4-5, right? But we got to protect against flush draws, wraps. Well, I guess a hand like eight, nine, five, something like that. Um, not the greatest river. Not the greatest river. He has about a pot size bet left. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try it. We win anyway. Um, definitely have to call in a four way here. Flopping top set and a flush draw. <laughs> Hard to flop top set with sevens, but we somehow did it here. Fortunately, we're not really super deep with anybody. Um, I guess 125 with this guy. You see the three better? Yeah. So we can get in like 50% of the remaining stacks, except for this guy, like 30%. Um, this guy just pots it. I guess, well, the good thing is if he has like a flush draw, um, we have we have his out. So we'd really like a deuce turn. <laughs> just in this damn thing. Hopefully they both have flush draws. That'd be pretty awesome. A set of fives and a set of deuces? That'd be even better. Another big pot, guys. This will probably be the difference between us either having a winning or losing session right here. We hit our flush. And we win. $20 pot. Ship it. We have 453 big blinds on this table. Easy peasy. What was he stacking with? What was he stacking with? I have no idea what the hell he was... Was he just bluffing there? I, that was a bluff shove. I, look at this. What did he have? Gutch double gutter? I guess he had a double gutter. <laughs> that one is a mystery to me. We had all that dead money too. That was pretty sweet. Um, I'm just giving up on this one. So we went from being like eight down to like 21 up in in <laughs> our final revolution here. Um, this hand looks good, but it's really a hijack or better hand. This is not an under the gun hand. I gotta avoid those spots. Gotta avoid those hands. Those are definitely not winning hands under the gun. I don't think. Maybe in some dynamic, but not a generally average normal dynamic. Certainly not in a fishy dynamic, I don't think. 
Um, so we're up 35 in EV this session. Where does that put us? Let's refresh. $245. We're actually $5 away from a shot. Um, and actually, I have rate back, back probably, excuse me, probably coming. We'll see. Maybe tomorrow we'll do another shot. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? It's fun when you actually win some of these. Man, imagine the session this could have been. <laughs> we won the 40 big blind pot and the and the other 200 big blind pot. Um, yeah, we could be up like 100 bucks this session almost. A couple bluffs work too. Yeah, we could easily be up 80 something. So for some reason the rake bag didn't go into my account today. Normally it comes in daily. Not sure why. Did not work out today. But whatever. So yeah, we'll end at 245. I mean, what, last time we took our shot, what, when was that? Yesterday? <laughs> we went from, uh, we were down at like 197, so once again we've gained back four or five buy-ins. Five buy-ins basically, and since yesterday's afternoon session, so gonna keep taking our shots if we could just run like this a couple times at 25 and PLO we would uh we'd be fine okay here's my um here's my last UK 12k hands or whatever 10 PLO if anybody wants to see this how the red line's getting a little better um but yeah, I mean, the orange line's what matters, and that's just pretty steady, right? <clears throat> Doing pretty well on the button, as we should. Um, 23.8 big blind EV win rate. Pretty good. So, yeah, not much to do besides just keep plugging along. Trying to get better at this game, which I feel like I am. I feel like in, almost by leaps and bounds I'm getting better at this game, which is what you can expect. Um, I have a pretty strong no, no limit hold in background a lot of a lot of stuff translates some doesn't some does um, a lot of concepts are kind of reversed in PLO but I'm kind of getting where I feel a little more comfortable in these games um, so let's make sure we don't have any labels to do here this guy's looking like he's shaping up to be a station so I'm gonna give him a preliminary station What's this guy? Yeah, that got a bad label on this guy. This guy is a passive fish, not passive rig. Okay, that's good enough. Well, yeah, so that was fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I gotta check my hair before I do these streams. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Everybody enjoy the rest of their day. Looking forward to feedback. Um, if anybody's enjoying this or wants me to take a right or left turn, should I load in another 800 bucks or 750 and just play 25 PLO now? Or should I just keep taking shots like this? I mean, this is kind of fun. I mean, I like taking the shots. I just wish one would work out. Now, maybe third time will be the charm. But all you got to do is gain about five more bucks and we'll be able to do that. So also on stream quality, let me know in the comments on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. Oh, let me my hoods here. Oh, that one I don't have to mess with. So yeah, let me know in the comments whether um, um, the quality is good on this video because I did literally just throw this into OBS Classic. Hopefully we didn't have any disconnects or anything. Um, okay, everybody, have fun. We'll hopefully see you tomorrow unless I'm busy. Tomorrow's a busy real life, real job work day, so sometimes it doesn't work out, but hopefully we will see you tomorrow afternoon. Take care.